What's going on, y'all? JT here with an unboxing in my first look at the V5 Arma Typhon um, 6S. So you guys know in the past I've had the versions 1, 2, and 3, but I didn't have the version 5. Um, it was kind of like a gap between, I think, uh, when they released some of the other ones and got this one out. But this has been out for, I'd say, about a year now, maybe a little bit over a year. But this has got all the bells and whistles and all the updates and stuff I've actually wanted in an 8-scale buggy. And y'all see this here? That says 70 miles per hour. So y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, I know. We're going to put that to the test. And I got some brand new lipos I just got to. Got a brand new Gen Z lipo and stuff I'm going to throw up in here. And some other stuff. So we're going to test this 70 miles per hour on Super Speed Saturday. Um, I believe it comes with a uh, uh, um, speed gear to hit that. But we'll see when we get this open. So anyway, let me go ahead and let me crack this box open. And look at, look at some of them goodies up in there. So hey, let me go ahead and crack this box open. Let's see what we got up in here. And you guys know it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the smell of a new RC car. <laughs> One of my friends saw my videos and she was like, you actually smell the cars when you open them up? And I was like, yep, they smell good when we open them up. So anyway, um, let me get out. Yep, there's that speed gear right there. So let me get all this out and then let's see kind of what we got up in here. All right, y'all, there we go. The buggy is out in all its glory and beauty. Uh, so real quick, uh, see what we got up in here. We do have a bag of goodies up in here. You guys see they do give you tools, so I'm glad that Armor gives you tools with um, your 8-scale um, and even your 10-scale cars and trucks. And then we do have a speed gear right there as well. I believe that's going to be a 22 um, pinion gear. And then we get a couple other accessories and stuff in there. Well, and they seem like they give you some instructions in there for shimming the diffs and stuff and we get stickers y'all know i love stickers and we also get a pretty well detailed uh instruction manual and stuff as well um with exploded views and all that nice stuff up in there and then for the radio we have the uh, spectrum slt3 radio it's 2.4 gigahertz radio um has all your basic bells and whistles and trims and stuff on here um and it does come with a foam on the steering wheel as well so um, so we'll put this out there and we'll see how um, this functions and stuff as well as their uh, throttle and start reversing and stuff on the rear of it. And then you also have, uh, we could get the focus in, you guys see the 50, 70, and 100% um, percent throttle right there where you can adjust and regulate that. So anyway, I'm just excited to get into this buggy and I'm going to get this running today. I probably won't film the video I'm going to run today because I kind of want to enjoy it. And then we'll get this out for some super speed Saturdays. And then go from there. But the buggy looks good. Um, it's been a minute um, since I've run one of the 6S buggies. Um, like I said before, I did have some of the ones previously in the past. And didn't have too many problems or issues with them at all. And I do kind of want to do something to this. Is why I may turn this into a speed buggy. And put that spool from my Limitless in here. And maybe put the 29 tooth um, in here instead of the 34 that comes with the limitless just to see what kind of speeds we got and kind of show you guys that um i may get with jeff with um rc speed monsters we may um get together and talk about a couple of things as far as making a speed buggy because i can definitely put uh one of his custom um willy bars on the back of this to keep this from kind of catching air and flipping up but we'll see how all that fans out over the summertime um, over the next couple months and stuff. But anyway, this buggy looks good. Um, tires and wheels, you guys know these are a little bit larger than your standard uh, buggy tires. Well, not by much. The diameter is a tad bit uh, larger, if I can recall. But you guys see the tread wear and stuff on there. This is actually pretty good. They're pretty all-purpose tires and wheels as well. So we're going to definitely get these out. We're going to run these down <laughs> and then replace them with something else um, on there. Uh, suspension set up for this uh, buggy. Armor has always, in my opinion, done a good job with their suspension set up and stuff. You didn't have to do too many adjustments, especially to their 8-scale lineup. Um, so I don't expect to have to do any adjustments with this stock out the box. Maybe if I do uh, some modifications for speed and stuff, I may have to lower it down just a little bit. But I think it's pretty much um, set up good straight out the box. Uh, so get this body off real quick and taking a look at the inside of this. That looks pretty nice. So this does have the spectrum system and stuff up in here as well. It's 150 amp speed controller, 6S capable. Um, four to six. I think, I think I've seen some people run this on 3S actually. Um, it's pretty interesting that they did that and they didn't like puff their batteries, but I may try that just to show that to you guys and maybe do an experiment to show you guys how it runs on, um, uh, 3S as well. Now it does come with a new servo as well, but this servo head of the spleen on here only has 23 C if it's not the standard 25. So consider that 
um, kind of as you go forward. But this buggy actually has all the new bells and whistles that a lot of the V5s and stuff have and a lot of upgrades and stuff on here as well. You guys have probably seen several unboxings. And when Arm announces, they kind of put all this information out there as well. And a couple of things may be popping up throughout this video as I'm talking as far as upgrades and stuff. But the buggy looks good. I'm excited to get this out to see the performance of this and how it's improved over the version. I believe it was the last one I had was the version three, um, especially with the better servo and stuff in here. And then they also worked on some of these steering components and stuff as well. So I'm really curious to see how this performs out there um, with this. So I'm not going to go, like I said, too in depth with this. The only thing I wish Armour would have did, and this is just me, is uh, made the color a different color. But that's just me. That's just JT nitpicking. Um, I do like the color of it, but I wish this would have been like orange. That would have really been cool. Or even um, a darkest blue or something or a gray. But anyway, um, we're going to get this out and running. And I'll probably end up getting another body for it at some point in time. Um, no, I doubt it. I'm going to leave it like it is. I ain't even going to lie. It'll be three months down the road. I'll be like, I think it's going to change the body. I didn't change it. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, stay tuned for Super Speed Saturday with this. We're going to see if we can get that 70 plus miles per hour. And then during the summertime, I'm going to turn this actually into a speed buggy and do 100 and something plus miles per hour. Put this against my limitless speed as well. I'm um, going to speed run our uh, actual speed test to see um, which one can actually get the top speed and actually handle that 100 mile per hour speed without like stretching the chest. I'm not going to sit up here and put a crate in our um, a talent chest or anything. I kind of want to leave it as it is to see what we can get um, with this particular platform with this one. But anyway, guys, as always, look with the like, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.